All right, what's going on, guys? T Torres back here for another video. Today, we are going to be installing the Benz Injection 150 bar super turbo injector nozzles. We have the caps, we have the socket. Um, these injectors from the you know from the previous owner uh they're probably the original ones with 180 plus thousand miles on it so i figured it is time to uh time to change them out we might as well upgrade them from the factory ones but guys i am dealing with the most annoying parasitic draw uh i checked the um glow plug relay i've i checked everything here i checked everything uh in the back I redid the grounding straps, check that one over there, check this one over here. And this, this thing still has like a gremlin. Um, you know, glow plug light will come on and then I go to crank it, no crank, the bass AS, ASR lights on. So this, oh, this thing is being a nightmare. But for now, we're gonna put that behind us and install these uh, new injectors. And then we have the um, injector uh, socket removal tool as well. All can be found on benzinjection.com. We'll have a link down in the description uh, to his products as well. It is recommended when you change out your injectors. Um, Shane said change out the fuel filter as well. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to take off this uh, intake manifold so we can get to the injector tie down brackets. Already took the top cover off. We'll remove this crankcase uh, breather and then we'll pull these hoses and then we'll get to... Uh, we're removing these uh, hard lines. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll remove one at a time, replace it, and so forth, so forth. All right, so I did the uh, first injector uh, off camera so I could build my confidence, but down in there, you have your little cap. Uh, the The indention side points up towards you. I cleaned the, um, the housing here as much as I could. A lot of gunk was in there, compressed air, screwdriver with some towels on it got all that junk on there and then we tighten this back down to uh 37 foot pounds hopefully the rest of them go just as easy as as um the first one 14 millimeter up here uh, you may need to lose loosen uh these clamps but i'm doing one at a time so i don't get confused um pray the rest go just as easy all right here's what the factory injector looks like with 180,000 miles or so and then there is uh, the cap thought I'd show you guys that and then you should be able to uh, return these for a core I don't remember if it was like 40 or 60 bucks but we're going to be returning these back to uh, Ben's injection all right injector number two here we go take a look at it okay then let's pop this on so you guys can look down in there. Here, the little cap is down there in the bottom. I'm gonna clean all, out all that guck and that sludge down in there. All right, let's see if I can capture getting that little cap out down there. Got it loose with a pick. Here we go. There you have it. There it is. Let's look down in that injector well. A lot better than what it was before. All right, I'm going to tighten this injector down until I feel resistance. And then we will get the uh, torque wrench out and torque this bad boy to uh, 37 foot pounds. All right, 37 foot pounds. There it is. All right, just a little update. Uh, took a small break. I'm on the very uh, last injector now. All of these are good to go. Y'all comment down below and tell Mercedes come holla at me. This job has been pretty simple. All right, so just to catch you guys up in real time, all the injectors are on, lines are tightened down, the return lines are on, this is on, new uh, fuel filter is on. Now it's time to uh, put the intake, and then we also gotta do uh, the boost, I always forget about that, and then do the uh, plug in the four bar map sensor. And then it's time to uh, crank this pig over. I know this thing's gonna be rough starting and it's gonna smoke like hell all right intake manifolds back on double checked everything all the tools out the engine bay so uh whoo i'm sweating let's fire this thing up <laughs> i know i know i know it's gonna probably smoke like crazy like i said before all right let's go fire this bad 
Bad girl, look. Oh. Whew. smoky for sure. Alright, I'm going to let this thing warm up a little bit and I'm going to rub it. Shoo, it's smoky in here. You can definitely see the, uh, <laughs> the smoke in the garage. Alright, that is going to do it for today's video. I can tell you one thing. The car starts better. It idles a lot better. Um, we'll see down the road uh, how it does, but all went well. I had to redo one of the return lines on the uh injector nozzle it was uh leaking a little bit but we got that fixed but yep so i'd say probably put around two and a half hours maybe three hours aside super super um easy and straightforward job uh big shout out to uh ben's injection um yeah if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button leave this video a big thumbs up even if you didn't like today's video leave it a big thumbs up and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace